M0FXP, if you're trying to set up your 705 to have um, a sort of remote connection to something like WFU, remember there's two username and passwords. One is just your normal Wi-Fi one, so you just go menu, set, wireless LAN set, and then connection settings. We're on a, we're an access point at the moment. Um, you've got your username and password, and you even get an IP address. So that's for your Wi-Fi connection. Now, when you're in access mode, if you turn your Wi-Fi connection on, go menu, set, wireless LAN, you turn it on, you do get a different type of box. I'll show you that, I'll display. Look, you've got like a white white square with, with a black Wi-Fi, and that means you're in access mode. So, if we go back in, there's another one you need to remember, menu, set, and go wireless LAN, but this time, this time go all the way down to remote settings. Now, if we go network user number one, look, there's another username and password here. So, and that will be the one that you use in the white in the WF view type settings. There's probably other programs as well, but I've used it in WF view, and you can change that as well. Okay, so just worth bearing that in mind, and also you can give them the radio a name so obviously i've given it a the name ic705 but if you get confused with the two give it a different name to your your wireless lan now if we with the wireless lan let's we'll go back you have to turn it off to change it go off go back connection type we could choose station mode i've never really used this but there there is that is the other mode that you can use and then so when you turn on the wireless lan now on then you'll, when it comes on, pretty sure I turned it on then, menu, set, on. There you are, it appears with the normal type connection. So not sure if this will help you or not, but I thought I'd uh, point out that, that when you're setting up things uh, for remote connection, that you have two pass username and passwords to, to consider. 7-3, all the best.